Something we noticed last time we ventured out this way is uh, there's several dead cows out in this area. And we're not sure if they're dying from natural causes or if somebody's shooting them or what the deal is. Open range out here. Ranchers let their cows graze off the land. Oh, it's not a dead cow. I thought it was a dead cow. It's just a pile of rocks where they had a fire going. That's all. False alarm. So anyways, we're gonna check this place out called Quartz Mountain. Apparently there's a lot of quartz that can be collected out there. So it's gonna go for a drive and see what we come across. For you folks who watch my videos, a handful of you that do, I was under the impression this Jeep had stock 307 gears in it still, but uh, apparently it doesn't. It has 410s in it, it's been re-geared. I uh, jacked it up and spun the tire and counted the number of rotations on the drive shaft. Definitely has 410s in it, so it's been re-geared. Looks like we got a guy out there camping, BLM land. Pretty sure you can camp anywhere you want out here. I think it's seven days if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. Just don't leave a mess, just clean up after yourself so they don't shut her down for others. This is pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. There's there's no civilization out here for quite a ways. All right, we'll pick pick back up a little down the road here. Well, it appears there may be a cemetery up here or maybe just one lone grave that's kind of what it looks like let's go check it out and see well, it looks like it's just one all by itself Matt Costello, 1866 to 1926. Look at that, just one all by itself out here. Well, looks like we've got some more cows up here, and one of them looks like they're on the in the road. Hopefully it's friendly and it doesn't try to bash into me. Oh, there's a few couple in the road there. Hopefully it's not an angry bull. They don't seem to be the smartest animals in the world. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a bull that has horns. I think that's how it works. They 
got off the road. Looks like we've got some side-by-sides riding around out here. Quite a few of them actually, a whole bunch of them. So that's what we were thinking of getting originally is something like this but the prices are just astronomical and you get full of dust in them we thought the Jeep was just a better option isn't that right desert explorer friend yes now plus we have heat and AC and we don't have to wear headphones to talk to each other yep like all these guys have and we don't have dust and grit in our teeth and in our ears and everywhere else. Out here in, out here in the middle of the desert, we got Skip rolling. Mobile. Let me turn the amp on. They're coming back. Hello once again, 403 919 with a wave. 403, go ahead, try. Hey, 403, you copy 302 in the Mud Duck Mobile? He won't hear you, but Skip Land might try it. How about at DX Land? How about at DX Land? 302, 302, Northern Nevada, 302, Northern Nevada in this mud duck Jeep. Here they go. They're always playing that hillbilly music. <laughs> 302, 302, Northern Nevada, 302, 302, Northern Nevada in this mud duck Jeep with this little fiberglass antenna. With a big hand to 919 Tennessee, and I'm back right. How about it, 919 919 Tennessee? 919 Tennessee, 302 302, Northern Nevada. We're trying. Yep, we're not going to get out today. Skip's rolling too hard. Hey there, uh, 565, 565 South Georgia. Well, folks, it looks like something happened happened to my camera here. It's still recording. How about it, 211 in the Buckeye, 211 in the Buckeye, 302, 302, Northern Nevada, in the middle of the desert, we're trying. Sail, 
Georgia. Is that 307 out there? How about 307 amps? Jim, are you out there? 302, Northern Nevada, we're asking. Hello, 302, Ohio. Let me get around there to you. Hello, 302. You better go back to the... Go back to the... Hey there, 565 South Georgia. 565 South Georgia. Sounding good out here in Northern Nevada. So anyways, not sure what happened to my camera, it's not picking anything up, so we're going to end it.